Assalamu alaikum girls open page number 9 circulatory system today we are going to study about the circulatory system how the blood moves and how it transports the oxygen and nutrients around the body our circulatory system consists of heart blood and the blood vessels this is the picture of showing the circulatory system circulatory system of your body the red and the blue lines forming a network can you see over here the red lines shows the veins and the sorry red lines shows the arteries and the blue lines shows the veins heart is the main organ and it pumps the blood to each and every part of our body now first we will deal with which type of vessels are there there are three type of vessels arteries veins and capillaries arteries are actually thick wall vessels and they carry pure blood from the heart to each and every part of the body then comes veins veins are actually thin walled and they collect the waste as well as the carbon dioxide from different parts of your body and bring it back to the heart from where it is transported to the lungs to to be purified but at each and every cell the arteries and veins divide and redivide and form thin wall vessels which are called capillaries these capillaries are very thin wall so that each and every single cell can move through it these capillaries are so thin wall so are thin wall and so tiny that they can reach each and every part of your body this is a picture of your heart and your heart has four chambers the right atrium right below it is the right ventricle then the left atrium and the left ventricle these atriums and the ventricles are separated by valves called septum now you can see two vessels which are opening into the right atrium this first vessel that is blood from the body it's marked over here this vessel is the main artery which brings brings blood from the body that is impure blood the blood with carbon dioxide it brings the blood that blood is poor in oxygen it is poured into the right atrium now the right atrium receives impure blood and on the left side you can see left atrium and in that left atrium is opening a blood vessel which is bringing blood from the lungs that is pure blood the blood which is rich in oxygen both this atriums will contract at the same time and as they contracts their valves will open and the blood will be pushed towards the ventricles right atrium will push the blood into the right ventricle and left atrium will push the blood into the left ventricle when this bloods are pushed some mixing of blood does take place but this blood mixture is separated by some valves which are present inside it now from the right ventricle a vessel emerges out and this vessel will this is the one which is emerging out from the left ventricle this one it is taking blood to the lungs because the impure blood is coming from here it is passing from the atrium to the ventricle and from the ventricle it is being passed to the lungs this is what this is impure blood it is going to the lungs but the vessel which is taking it to the lungs it is not a vein it's an artery it is the only artery in our circulatory system which is carrying impure blood otherwise all the arteries which are in our body are taking uh, impure blood but only one artery that is pulmonary artery is taking impure blood to the lungs and this is the only vein all veins are carrying impure blood they are you can see over here they are marked they are colored blue but this is the only vein which is bringing the pure blood from the heart pure blood is brought over here on in the left atrium then when the both the atriums contract they push the blood to the ventricle this pure blood then from the left ventricle enters into this vessel and the blood to the body is supplied that is pure blood is going to be supplied to each and every part this is how your heart works now next page over here it is an activity for you to do that is you can find out the pulse of your body it is labeled over here 
put your thumb over there and try to find out how many times your pulse beat or your heart beats in one second and one thing more girls it's an interesting thing to know that our arteries veins and capillaries are so many and so large that if we unite them one end to end they may make up about 1 lakh 50000 kilometers in length this is interesting to know thank you